found yourself falling off the New Year's resolution band already as far as exercise and workout goals. Well, Roman McDonald with Squad Fitness is here with some hacks to help us get back on track. What you got for us? So I think the number one thing we do is sometimes we set goals and whether we keep them in our head or we write them down, they're just kind of there and we magically expect them to just, you know, things to fall into place to happen. The number one thing you do when you have an idea or something you know you need to do or that you want to work towards is you have to take massive action. And so let me give an example real quick. Let's say there's somebody that, that wants to do a 5K that's on their bucket list mm -hmm. and they've never run before in their life. Well, the first thing that that person needs to do is go look up, okay, how long does it take to get ready for a 5K and sign up for a race right now? Commit to it. Exactly. The second thing right. that you have to do, so that, that sets you up into motion to start making some things happen. Okay. If you just say, hey, here's a goal, write down a piece of paper, you look at it once or twice, it's it, nothing's going to happen with it. Right. The second thing that you got to do is you got to make it important to you. So let's say that same person that's doing the race, now not only are they looking at uh, the, the community races that are happening, you know, a lot of these races have fundraisers, they're raising money for different things. Yeah. So not only are you saying, you know, I want to do this run for me, you can say, hey, uh, you know, make it important to you by whatever they're raising money for. I'm not just running for me, I'm running for this cause as well. Right, okay, that's a great tip. So now it's not just, uh, it's something I want to do, it's something that, that's more meaningful to, to yourself. Okay, what about those people that <coughs> January rolled, January 1st rolled around? I'm gonna eat better, I'm gonna eat cleaner. How do you get back on that band? And then you just slip off after a month. Like, uh, it just, work got hard, the kids are busy, let's just run through the drive-through. What do you have tips to help us get back on track food wise. Well, I, I find out one of the one of the biggest reasons why people fall off the map is that they're usually not tracking their progress. Okay. And a lot of and what I mean by that is a lot of people just use the scale as their end all be all measurement of progress. Yeah. And really there's all types of progress. So if you look at, at, at like business, you know, there's all these numbers you have to know, you have to know revenue, profit. If you just ran it by the revenue, you really have no idea what's going on. So why are we doing that with our, with our fitness and our body when we're just looking at the scale? Because you can lose weight, or you can actually gain weight, but lose waist, uh, your waist size. And that means you probably put on some lean muscle tissue, but lost body fat, okay. which is a plus any day. In fact, I had this lady, she got up and, and walked by me one time, and she said, uh, she said, Roman, did you hear that? I said, I said no, I didn't hear anything. She said, okay, well, walk by me again. She said, did you hear it that time? I said, Susan, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> She said, let me do it one more time for you. Now listen real close. And the uh, same thing happened. And she, and I said, Susan, I didn't hear anything. She goes, exactly. She said, my inner thighs aren't rubbing together. <laughs> when I started your program, they're rubbing together, and you can hear the little That's swish sound. so funny. So we call these non-scale victories. So you that gotta, is a victory. you got to measure your progress. You have to uh, you gotta make sure you're making it important to you, and you're setting, massive, you're setting yourself up for massive action right when you start the goal. 